We need to get into this whole Ice Spice Clear Trapper. Okay, we'll bring an Ice Spice and Clear Trapper into my office today because they say Ice Spice is an Ozempic demonic worshiping. Um, I mean, we can't say artist or performer or rapper. I like the term industry prostitute. Cleo Trapper, I'm bringing you in my office for being the typical female tourist, okay? And I was listening to Boots Terrell, and he he was he definitely uh, shared my sentiments. Female tourists tend to lead with authenticity and with being genuine, okay? They hard-headed as hell. You can't tell them shit. And the closer they are to the Gemini line, the more psychotic they are. And this is what it is. Um, Cleo is smart as hell. Cleo was smart as hell in them books. But at the end of the day, the female Taurus in her took over. And she thought that little Macchiato here was her goddamn friend. Now, as smart as you is and as much as you read us, Cleo, for our grandma and saying acts instead of ask in minds instead of mine and all that book learning that I know that your Nigerian parents made sure you had because what because it don't matter what you end up doing for a career as a Nigerian, what you is gonna do is get that motherfucking education. If it's one thing about them goddamn Nigerians and them Haitians, you're gonna get that education or they're gonna make you sit on that rice. I don't know, I don't know if it, uh, they make them kneel on some I don't know if it's rice or it's some, but it tear up their knees. I seen it before. I'm not Haitian, so I ain't never actually been through it. They do it to their kids, though. Them, them ass was from them Haitians and them Nigerians is on another level. All right? <laughs> so, anyway, Cleo exposed Macchiato for being a demon, not wanting to feed Cleo while they were on tour. Uh, basically, treating her like a house slave and you know, doing her wrong on tour. We're not going to sit through the whole 47-minute video because it's everything that we could have told her. I'm going to dig into Cleo first. First off, Cleo, absolutely love you. Been following you for the longest time, but you were stupid for going on tour with this girl. Number one, you were in the entertainment business. It ain't no friends in this business. You know that. You've been around long enough. And shit, you from Brooklyn. You from New York. Uh, love Jones, I think she from your neighborhood. You, you already know there ain't no such thing called friends in this motherfucking business. Business. And you know that you don't do nothing without no paperwork. John Wick said, you sound a little bit zesty. That's the point of the show. We know that. It's <laughs> part of the show. Listen, you know you don't go on no tour. Talking about, oh, girl, can you come on tour with me? And you, what? And for exposure. And another thing about this industry, too. I'm so sick of people trying to get free labor out of people in the name of an opportunity. In the name of, I'm going to put you on. In the name of mentor. In the name of whatever. No, this is free labor. You obviously were not the first choice, which is why she waited to the last minute to ask you to come on tour with her. Then you get on tour and they treating you like they don't even want you to be there. We need to start normalizing walking away from situations that don't serve us. We need to normalize turning down opportunities. We need to normalize saying no. You don't have to jump at everything that somebody present in front of you. We need to start saying no. And when they say, well, what you mean? And do you know what this could do for your career? Cleo, you had your own motion way before we even knew anything about Cappuccino. You got yourself on VH1. You went viral all up and through the pandemic. You were already releasing music on your own. You got your own swag, your own following. You didn't need her for shit. She wanted you around to be her motherfucking lapdog and to be her slave. Because we're going to call this shit what it is. We're going to call this shit what it is. To be quite honest, in the industry, they use people that look like Cleo for, for the sound. 
They had them go in and actually sing the songs. I learned something. Oh my God, what's that? I think she's a gospel. No, she's an actress, Amber Riley. I learned this term called blending, where apparently they have somebody that looked like Ice Spice, and you think it's her singing, but it's really somebody that looked like Cleo that's singing, and then somebody like Macchiato is just doing like the little ad libs, and they blend it, but it's really, it, it's really the sister that's singing. Same thing Christina Milian and Ashanti did for J Lo. You understand what I'm saying? This industry is colorist as hell, so we already knew what it was. You was too damn smart to be going on tour being somebody's motherfucking lap dog or being somebody's friend, friend, friend. It ain't no fucking friends. And then you admitted you didn't even know the girl like that. So why would you take her word when you didn't know her like that in the first place? That girl treated you like shit, but whether whether you realize it or not, she probably actually saved your life, saved your soul, and saved your ass. Because you don't know what Macchiato was doing to maintain her top spot. Because it damn sure ain't about talent. And a lot of people then invested a lot of money into Icy Spicy. So guess what? She got to do whatever the hell they tell her to do. It ain't no telling what they got her doing in the rooms. She didn't want you in the room with you. You don't know if this girl was getting a train ran on her or if she was worshiping a boffin bed. What you do know is that she didn't want nothing to do with it. That's what you do know. Now, I listen to you tell your story, and hey, every time she played in your face and disrespecting you, I kept waiting for the part where you drop kicked the hoe. But you did. Learn from this situation and move forward. My script for, for you, I want you to get on the Amazon with your smart ass and all them degrees, since you know every fucking thing, and I want you to read about this music business that you call yourself wanting to be a part of. Because if you need to know anything, is that the business comes first. You understand? And work your independent bag. Shit, the real tea is that you make more money on your own than being signed to these damn labels anyway. Come on now. Nah. Who's still signing to a label in 2020? Who's still even wanting to be on that? These hoes ain't making no money like that. Cappuccino ain't calling no shots. Only shot she calling is the Ozempic. That's it. She was looking like Pinky yesterday and today. Here we go. So now we're going to get on Icy Spicy. All right, let's just be clear. Icy Spicy is definitely a colorist. She is an elitist. Uh, I do believe that she has crossed over and sold her soul. But more importantly, Ice Spice knew and knows that Cleo had everything that she don't. Um, Ice Spice is only in the position that she's in because she's fair-skinned and because she's willing to bend over and lay on her back and get on her knees. Hey, Riot. I didn't know that was something. I didn't even know what she was saying. None of us really know what she was saying. Ice Spice music is trash. She has no stage presence. Her twerking is terrible. She ain't that cute. She gives Down syndrome. It never gave star. It always gave Special Olympics, and that's no shade. I'm just telling you what it gave. When Baby Stormy came out with her and her 30 piercings in her face and told y'all, you know, about how Macchiato was bullying her and and let me and let me say this and let me say this. A lot of you bitches need to learn self love, cause I'd be damned if a bitch, if a scary bitch bully me. It's one thing if you get bullied by like a Taseki. You understand what I'm saying? You <coughs> you got bullied by a scary bitch who was shaking and shivering in the car when she thought that Cardi sent some people to whoop her ass. What's going on? You understand what I'm saying? A scary bitch? Don't bully me. I think not. I think not. You know what Ice Spice reminds me of? She reminds me of those girls in school that were considered pretty. And they had their fucking um, 
the the they had they look click the mean girl click and they could run their mouth but they could not run hands so they always had a fucking lap dog around them that would do all the fighting for them yeah well you know niggas would consider her pretty she's not she she looked like her mama was 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 smoking was smoking and drinking when she was pregnant with her that's what she looked like Ain't nobody trying to get sued. No, no, no. But that's what she reminds me of in school. The, the mean girls in school that could say crazy shit about you. You know, maybe they maybe they had their daddy in their life, so they had nice clothes and nice shoes and even had a BMW when they were 16. But guess what? Them hoes, them hoes was scary. But anyway, um, you know, Ice Spice, you didn't want to feed the girl. You was disrespectful. You was mean. You was rude. And, you know, for as intelligent as Cleo is, I'm not really understanding why you stayed on tour with the bitch for, for 30 days. You know, you 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 went through 30 days of hell. I guess I guess you was trying to do 40 days and 40 nights of fasting. I don't know if you thought you was Moses. Who was fasting in the Bible? Was it Moses? I, I don't know what you was expecting, but the first time they would have drove past the McDonald's and not got me nothing to eat. I probably would have cried and then I would have caught the next Uber up out of there. Shit, you was already carrying your own bags. I just would have got goals. Like, y'all ain't gonna feed me now. Oh, so now I so now now we're fasting. Now we're fasting. Yeah, no, I I, I would have went. She didn't want you around. She never did. She didn't care nothing about you, Cleo. She never did. She's not sorry. Even if she do come around and try to apologize later, it's not gonna be genuine. But that female tourist and you gonna accept her motherfucking apology. And that's what I'm not gonna like. But you grown and that's your business. Ice knows that she has no talent. She has no personality. She has no stage presence and she has no swag. And Cleo has it naturally. And sometimes when you are doing the same thing as somebody else and you look at them, be able to do something naturally that you have to be manufactured to do. It will invoke envy and jealousy inside of your spirit. Nothing more and nothing less. The only thing that Ice Spice has done well is laid on her back. That is it. Hey, Riot. That's it. The music is trash. The videos are garbage. Even, even, even. Hey, thank you for the cash. Y'all make sure you're, hey, thank you, Kyoko. I appreciate that. And make sure y'all send me cash outs, PayPal's, and super chats. Okay. Um, but back to what I was saying. Yeah, Ice Spice, you have absolutely no talent. And you know that. You have no motion, and you know that. You kept this girl around to use her. You kept this girl around to steal ideas from her, to, to get her energy, to get her essence, just to get her, her oomph, her swag. You all we already know. It's very clear. You know, you said your mama was a video vixen and, you know, I don't know what your daddy did, but you should you should have just stuck to bending over and shaking your ass. Because your music, it, it never gave anything with your music, sweetie. I don't know what you thought you was doing with going over there and hanging around Taylor Swift. We don't give a fuck about no Taylor Swift. I don't know what you thought you were doing when, when you hooked up with Nicki Minaj. Nicki Minaj still trying to be on top herself. What did you think she was going to do for you? And, and and speaking of that, I spice why you wanted to play a motherfucking bully. You was shaking and nervous and couldn't even speak up and speak your motherfucking mind to Nicki Minaj. So you let Nicki Minaj little girl you, and then I guess you thought she was going to little girl Cleo. You went over there bull dagging with Nicki Minaj, kissing on her all in the video and twerking all on her. Because you thought that was going to, you thought it was going to do something. And when she said, bitch, I want half of everything you got. You cried on the phone to Baby Stormy because you was too pussy and too punk to say that shit to Nikki Face. And then you got the nerve to turn around and treat Cleo like shit. Ain't that some shit? So we're going to write a script for Cleo to stay independent. All right. I'm also writing um, a... I'm invoking a restraining order 
between the two of them. I don't want these two having any contact. I don't even want them getting on the phone, making up. I don't want them nowhere near each other. It's done. I Spice has sold her soul to the devil. Let her stay over there with the devil and you go do your own thing cleo cleo go hook up with azalea banks uh run some shows with her and go use this and run up some money and let me tell you something else if you don't drop a project within the next week with all this press that you're getting cleo you truly failed and you dropped the motherfucking ball as far as ice spice is concerned you got about 30 minutes of fame left really about 15 but they gonna stretch it to 30. so i'm gonna write you a script to hide hide some of that money under your mattress because you know i'm pretty sure you didn't really even read what you were signing and so 10 years from now when you crying in a documentary talking about how all these handlers took all your money and you realize you was working for pennies i'm not gonna feel sorry for you at all all right that's it y'all got anything else for icy spicy and cleo uh, it's storm show hey it's storm show